Welcome to the Hissy Library. The Hissy Library stands for Humanities, Social Science, and Education Library. We are one of the many libraries on Purdue's campus and we provide a variety of services and materials. This video will give you a virtual tour of the library. Let's get started on our tour. The library is located in Site Stewart Center. The best entrance to find us is the one across from the Memorial Mall. You will know you're at the right place when you see the big mural above the doors to our library. When you walk into the library, you will pass by the Information Desk. The Information Desk is where you can get reference assistance and referrals, check out return books, and get help looking up the location of a book. There is an area right past the Information Desk, and that is where our printers and scanners are located. Throughout the rest of the first floor, there are 72 ITAP computer workstations available for student use. The classroom closest to the Information Desk is Collaborative Study Center, or CSC. The CSC is a classroom that can be reserved for instruction, and when it's not reserved, it's an open study space with more ITAP computers. As you walk farther into the library, you will see the reference collection. The reference books can be checked out for one week. The collection consists of dictionaries, encyclopedias, atlases, and other reference resources. Just past the reference collection, there are two study rooms that can be reserved. We have an interview room and a group study room. Around the corner from the study rooms is the Chris and Michelle White Cornerstone Reading Room. The Cornerstone Reading Room has soft seating, study tables, and a small collection of classics that supports the Cornerstone Integrated Liberal Arts Program at Purdue. Next door to the reading room is the Digital Humanities Studio. The studio is a mixed-use space dedicated to digital scholarship. It has seating space for 9 to 12 people for project meetings or workshops. It is also equipped with key technology for projects, including four computers with a variety of software, 3D printing and scanning, a manuscript and book scanner, data visualization monitors, and a podcasting station. Let's take the elevator to the second floor. The first thing you may notice about the second floor is the open study area to the right of you and our collection of books to your left. Directly in front of you is the Interlibrary Loan Office. Interlibrary Loan is called ILL. ILL helps obtain research materials not owned by the Purdue University Libraries. This service is free of charge for Purdue faculty and staff and currently enrolled students. On the other side of the book collection is our media collection. We have a variety of DVDs, VHS tapes, microfilm, microfiche, and sound recordings. We also have the corresponding machines to view or listen to materials available in the media area. Right past the media collection are our study rooms. We have four study rooms located on the second floor that are first come first serve. Let's check out the third floor. If you are looking for quiet study, the third and fourth floors are usually the best place to head to in this library. The third floor has more study rooms that are first come first serve as well. The third floor also has the rest of the book collection, including the Fine Arts Collection. The Fine Arts Collection in Hissy is our collection of oversized fine arts books. We have over 3,000 titles in this collection, which includes all different artists throughout history and the world. Let's move on to the fourth floor. The fourth floor is home to the Purdue Archives and Special Collections. The job of the archives is to support Purdue University by collecting and preserving records and papers created or received by the university and its employees. Let's move on to the periodical stacks. In the back part of the library, on the first, second, and third floors, you will notice that you can access something called the periodicals. The periodical stacks have five levels. There are study carols on each level, and some can be reserved by graduate students and researchers. On the first floor, you can find the government documents, state soil surveys, children's literature, and maps. The remaining four floors have periodicals. Thank you for joining our tour of the Hissy Library. We truly believe that there is something for everyone in Hissy regardless of your field of study. If you have any questions or want research assistance, you can stop by our information desk or chat with us on Ask a Librarian by going to lib.purdue.edu. We hope to see you soon.